Well, it was almost amidst protest Friday night that a Louisville attorney says a Jefferson County Sheriff's deputy pepper sprayed his client. He's now calling for that deputy's immediate suspension, accusing him of using unnecessary force. The 19th Heather Fontaine is breaking down the moment caught on video. Open. Watch again as the video shows a sheriff's deputy approach the doors from inside the Hall of Justice and then what looks like a cloud of powdered spray coming through the crack of the doors. Oh, help him, help him. Forcing Kajon Jennings to run away yelling in pain. That was unjustified, unwarranted, unnecessary a massively excessive use of force. Jennings attorney David Maurer believes it was pepper spray and is calling for the sheriff's deputy to be immediately suspended without pay and criminally charged. That's probably an assault too, which is uh, injuring someone with a dangerous instrument. I believe pepper spray would be categorized, defined under the statutes as a dangerous instrument. According to Mauer, Jennings was asking to go inside the courthouse to use the bathroom. We need to use the bathroom. Now these doors at the Hall of Justice, they don't usually lock, but check this out. The courthouse using chains and handcuffs now to keep them shut. It's something they've been doing after business hours since the protest downtown began. It's an executive order by the Supreme Court of Kentucky. This, this courthouse is supposed to be at one point, Jennings can be heard cursing at one of the deputies. You know, people are angry, people are upset, people are hurt, and they are saying a lot of things that are, you know, not very nice. But saying something that's not very nice to someone or cussing someone out does not... Uh, justify what happened there. According to a spokesperson from Jefferson County Sheriff's Office, pepper spray is an option of less lethal force to be used when verbal commands are not complied with. It should be used in short bursts to the area of the face. The use of force policy says reasoning for using less lethal force depends on the severity of the suspected criminal activity, any immediate threat posed on deputies or others, and whether the suspect is resisting arrest. I didn't hear Mr. Jennings threaten in any way. The the Sheriff's Department confirmed they've launched an internal investigation, and though they won't confirm his name, Jennings' attorney shared correspondence from the Sheriff's Department that named the deputy as George Grissom. Ah! Heather Fountaine, WHIS 11 News. And following up on this, the Sheriff's Office tells us they have a duty to protect the courthouse, saying, quote, we will not give these buildings up to anyone attempting to gain entry by force or aggression.